This is how we left things in video three. And now, video four, we're going to show you how we got from that to this. We got a high security slide driver and all the other things that make up an accent alarms gate system. Keep watching to see how the rest of the project turned out. Hey there, how are you today? If you're new to the channel, I'm Sean with Accent Alarms. I have about 25 years experience designing, installing, and servicing quality long-lasting automatic gate systems. By automatic gate system, I mean I work on gates, gate operators, cameras, access control, and wired and wireless connectivity. And I've recently added video production to the list of things I do. I'd love to get your feedback, good or bad, down in the comments section, and please take a second to click on that subscribe button. It really helps us out when you do. Keep your head on a swivel and be safe out there. So as you guys know, I work by myself at least 95, maybe 99% of the time. And here I am pulling some wire. So you can see I got a pulley set up. So usually a lot of companies will hire a guy to stand here and just feed this through. A little bit of lube and a pulley. And this is a one guy job instead of a two guy job. And where I'm pulling this to is right there. So I'm going to grab my uh, pliers, knock that cover off, and pull this through. Should take me about 10 15 minutes. Luckily, this is a short pull. I usually get a lot of exercise when it comes to pulling cables. Look how efficient I pull it there. That's speedy. And there's the cable. And there you go. I got cables pulled for my reader, my intercom, and my door release from the intercom, or in this case, gate release. And check out those beautiful mountains today. Safety mirror. Next, we're gonna pull those, and then we gotta pull a Cat 6 over there where we got a camera going up. See my setup here again. And there you go, gotta get back to Making work. Making some pretty good progress. I got the camera up over there, pulled, cables, uh, qualified and tested now I'm working over here I got my uh, box on got my 2N intercom or access intercom whatever you want to call it if you don't know access bot 2N here I am uh, using my Belden Rev Connect starting to really like those things and that's where we're at now we'll do a few updates as we keep going along Trying to show you this without a. Uh... That's it, really. I got a video on this. So, if you're interested in that, so we're just matching the tabs up. Just push that in. It's a little hard with one hand, trying to show you here. In fact, it's impossible with one hand. <laughs> but that just pushes on. Once it clips, I'm going to test it and it should be good. We're just going to test this quick. You can see I've got the uh, one end of my Fluke cable IQ on there. I'm just going to come over here to the other side. See if I can keep that in view for you. Stand by. And all we got to do is hit the test button. And you can see. We're good to go. We're going to save those results for the customer. So now all we've got to do is feed that through. So you can see uh, that'll fit through here. If I had used a bigger one, it would not have gone through. And I'd be redoing this. So we'll clean that up in a second. You can see that's a tight little turn there but see if we can get it in there with one hand two hands would be helpful so I'm getting ready to do my uh, 
LZR H100 laser scanner for barriers and gates. It's basically a loop detector that's a laser. And you can see I've already pulled my cable. Let's see if I can get out of the shadows here. This comes pre-terminated with this connector here. So the next step's going to be to drill a hole that I can feed this through. I guess it would have been nice to drill a small hole for this in the beginning in hindsight. And the only thing is then you got that sharp edge and you'd be pulling this through there and I, I wanted to make sure I didn't nick that cable. So that's why I chose to go over the top. I don't think there's a right or wrong. Uh, either way will work. And we're going to mount this thing and it'll basically create a laser field for a loop detector. So we'll have one on the inside with free exit and then we'll have another one here on the outside for the outside loop detector. So you can see I got the wall mount bracket on here and fed it through. You know how much I love those things already. So now on this little bottom bracket, this little notch here goes to the side you're protecting. So on this one here, the notch is facing like that. That notch right by my thumb, it goes that way. And since we're on this side, it goes this way. And get the holes lined up. And then that'll screw in four screws. And then this just twists on top. I'll pick up here in a second. Let me screw those in with my free hand. So you can see I screwed those in. I fed the cable up through. And... This is going to be tricky to do with my, uh, I can install with one person, but I'm having a hard time. Basically, we plug that in. What happens is this little cover flips over. So I'm going to route our cable through here, through the little channel. Flip that up and it comes on this side. Just pushes down and creates a nice seal for you. Line the notches up. Here I'm using my Hilti two-part epoxy to mount the gate operator to the concrete pad. We also use stainless steel Hilti Hit Z anchors. I don't know of a better way to mount the gate operator to the pad. I know some people use those uh, drive-in anchors. I'm not a fan of those. They always seem to pull out on me after a few years of use. I want this thing to stay in there forever. Now that I have the gate operator mounted, I'm going to put on the drive rail. These come in 14 foot sections, so I need several pieces here. And what I like to do is to use my chop saw to make sure I get a nice square cut. Some guys will just use a bandsaw and then you got a sloppy edge, but that's not how we do things. You can see I've got my drive rail on now, putting my stop limits on, the ramps, and just keep working away. See I'm adjusting the limit switches there. Time to wire some things up. Here I'm using my drill to spin out the wires to keep them nice and neat and clean. So we're definitely making some good progress here. Got our control board in, our switch. We got two runs back to the head end. We got a bunch of things labeled. Uh, we got our disconnects. We got our disconnects for the 12 volt. Got our heater wired. And coming over here, so you got our photo beams and our laser loop detectors. I want to point out kind of some of the differences here real quick. So a lot of guys will pull like a 24 gauge conductor. We're pulling 18 gauge with a water block on it. It's a little tougher to work with, but if you get crap in your wires or nicks or cuts, that's self-sealing. So 
you know, it's the little things that make a big difference. So it took quite a bit longer than we expected. We were out here during a blizzard when there was nothing standing out here. And today we've wrapped up. So we've got our gooseneck with our access 2N. We got our open options, HID, OSDP readers, bollards. We've got our safety devices. For loops, we're using the BEA laser. Photo eyes across the inside and outside. Got a camera over there. Same thing on the inside. We got our dual photo beam eyes. And here we go, our gate's gonna close for us. Right on cue. Oh, see that? I walked in front of the laser and it picked me up. It's a high security 50 BF23, up to three feet per second. And perfect. Nice smooth stop. And here you can see we've got a nice clean enclosure. We've got a heater. We've got a shut off just in case that heater thermostat dies. We don't want to have a fire in here or cook our components. So we have a secondary safety device. We set that at about 100 degrees. We got disconnects for our heater, our 12 volt DC, and our receptacle. Uh, we got an outlet. 12 volt DC, we've got fused Phoenix contact, we got two PoE injectors, we got a wireless receiver, we got our open options board, and we've got transductor uh, lightning suppressors up there. And we've got a door stop on here, and on this side we've replaced it and put a keyed lock. And so we used, uh, as we talked about before, we used double galvanized DIN with braces on both sides. And down there you can see we've got our open photo beam going from our gate operator along our open edge. So this job is a wrap. Hey there, I'm Sean with Accent Alarms. Keep your head on a swivel and be safe out there.